First of all, there's no question that every association should have an attorney that focuses their practice on association law. You shouldn't have the board member whose uncle is a real estate attorney or somebody who dabbles in this type of work. Second, you want an attorney with experience, somebody that you feel comfortable with, somebody that you want to talk to and work with. Thirdly, you want a law firm behind the attorney that you're hiring, a firm that's got the technological and the people capabilities to handle all of the legal issues, not just the corporate issues. I'm a hands-on attorney. I like to just dive right in, find out what the issue is, parse through the political baloney, the, the bias, the personalities, and just say, this is the issue, this is your answer, and let the board know that I'm an unbiased source of legal information. You have to give the board not just the legal advice as to here's the law, here's the boundaries that we have to work in, but also here's the practical advice. And politically speaking, you're not going to adopt a million dollar special assessment at one meeting. You need to plan, you need to bring in your experts, your consultants, your roofers, your attorneys, your bankers, and educate the board and the owners as to the thought process and the need and, and how this can be repaid over several years as opposed to right away. It's just putting together a plan so that everybody can understand the necessity and the thought that's gone into it.